shout out to you guys in the comments on the last episode for helping me not feel so bad for being so confused about the Super League of Relegation playoff system. Provinza said, no one understands this new league system. All the Danish TV stations want it removed again. Um, and then Nicholas said, let me explain. So if if, if Vale beats us here, essentially, um, Vale would be safe. And we would have to play the number three team in the first division. And against and then you've got Essier against Sondrius. So let's say Sondrius won. Um, then Essier would be relegated. Because they're in the third place playoff, and then Sondriesk will play the number two team of the first division. So essentially, when and we're in, we're, like, we're safe in the Superliga. If we lose, we play the number three team in the first division instead of the number two team, because that's who Sondriesk or the the winner of the the third place game will play. And I can totally understand provinces why the TV stations want to change. That is super confusing. Why not make it a simple, if you're at the top of the table and you're top two of the table, you go up, bottom two, you go down. That'd make a lot more sense. But it kind of seems like they're trying to keep teams where they're at. Fight the power, man. Let's let those first division teams up into the league, man. Come on, let's go. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode 54. As we've mentioned, we're playing Vail. It's going to be a double, double, double header today. We've got a game on the 23rd, the 26th, so it's going to be, again, stressing our team depth. Like, I would wish that we could just have avoided all of these extra games by not being in this situation, but it is what it is. We're going to play our 4-1-2-3 with the DM because we're at home. Vale um, has not been kind to us recently with a home draw and an away win 1-0 earlier in the season. We had a one nil over them at home and an away draw. So we're going to play. I, I I like this formation, the four, two, one, three for away games. Um, if we're trying to have some sort of an attacking option, because again, we're not playing like, you know, uh, Alborg or one of the top teams like this is the, their bottom dweller like us. They got promoted with us. So I'm hoping we can play just a little bit more defensively with the defensive midfielder dropping this, but we've got good wingers. In theory, good to lock. How you doing, son? I would play Ogood. He's only good for 60 minutes. We're going to play Vito, even though he's only good for 45, because he's Vito. And I'm just, maybe, maybe if we play in 45 minutes, he'll be at 75% match sharpness by the last game. Like, come on, Vito. He did sign his pre-contract deal. Um, oh, let's look at him. It's 875 a week, so he dropped 25 pound a week. We gave him some bonuses. It's still first team because I think he's still good enough to be in the first team if you look at his stats. I think he, you know, it's not a long-term deal. It's a two-year deal. So by the time he's 30, I'd love to keep him on as um, as, a, as a coach onto the, the coaching team. Although, to be fair, FM17 is right around the corner. Or FM18, not 17. FM18 is right around the corner, so we probably won't get to see that. They're th theoretically going to play a 4-1-4-1. That's interesting. Super defensive for them. All right, we're going to play standard structured. We're going to play normal, I think. Again, that's what we did the one time, kind of spacing it out. Everything else kind of just normal-ish. And uh, that's how we're going to roll. Just make sure we got our seven subs. Yes, I know Vito's not match-sharp. That's the whole idea, coaching staff. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, the Dynamics video came out from FM18. I'm not going to do a reaction video to that. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. It looks very interesting. So it's like it's essentially... It's like peeling back the layers of morale in the squad. I think it's going to be really interesting from a storytelling standpoint um, in FM18. Okay, we're closing everyone down. And we're going to... I, I think we need to close down and mark their their lone striker. Seems like a good idea. We're the favorites. Uh, Yeah. Mm, yeah, they're loving it. Go give the fans a performance. To, to, yeah, yeah. Let's just be super passionate about everything. Come on, cameras guard. You are our lone complete forward up there. Well, it's raining, lads. Let's see what happens here. I'd like to know what you all think of the quality, like the visual quality of this video. Um, I'm playing with not compressing it. Um, hold on just a second. Okay. I, we're not changing anything this early. They're, we're winning our fair share of headers. No. I mean, of ours, I guess. But um, I'm... 
I have been compressing the videos down to really shrink them down um, using a, a tool called Handbrake. And I kind of looked at a couple of them online, and it looks a little... I mean, we are totally dominating this game. This is unbelievable. Why haven't we got a highlight? Um, they're all long shots, to be fair. Maybe that's it. Um, but I think in a game that's as text-heavy as FM17, FM18... It makes me a little worried to shrink it down like that. I'm just not trying to use up all my bandwidth. That's the other problem, because the, if the files are 2 to 4 gigs in size, you know, you upload a bunch of videos, that takes a huge chunk of your bandwidth every month. Um, keep playing the way you have, the result will come. I, I, I liked what they were doing there. Let's go. Um, you all can make the difference. Let's go do it. Oh, I did take video off. Hmm. <laughs> My bad, son. Uh, we're going to bring on Anderson and put him in the advanced playmaker role. Maybe that'll help us stretch the middle of the field there. So it's like, hey, it's, as soon as the ball goes out of a mountain, Vito's coming off. Don't get hurt. Oh, I was, I was talking about videos. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vito, yeah, all right, first minute. Hey, I mean, you stretched out, you know, coming out of uh, out of the locker room. He's just fine. They're bringing off Brasnick, who I believe was their striker. Okay, right. Right, we're still we're still marking him though. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and mark their striker. Seems good. Camera's guard is on six point five. We do need to try and get a goal here. The nil nil draw going away is not what we want to be doing. Petchi, what's he got? All right, camera's guard. Our lone striker is deeper than two or three members of the team. Good luck, the winger. Oh, Jukes is mad. Heads it to Donio. Camera's guard. Camera's guard. You were there. You got to run on that ball, man. What is he doing? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, I don't know if you can hear the desktop audio. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've screwed it all up. Can you hear the desktop audio? Now you can. You haven't been hearing the crowd noise. I'm not seeing what's going on with the game. Oh, the recording has gone all wrong. The clock is flying by. Um, right. So, that was interesting. Sorry, I had to click off. I realized my desktop audio wasn't playing any sounds for you, and that's not what we wanted to have happening now, is it? Um... Do we risk going... Like, do we drop... I think we're going to drop... He's playing so well, though. I think if we drop Petchy and we put in Staring as a second striker to kind of help us out... Makes me nervous to do that, though. God's always not playing great. I mean, Camera's guard's not playing great. But, I mean, it's kind of like you kind of have to go for it. Even though Petchy's playing so freaking well. Hmm... Maybe we'll go 4-4-2 diamond since our, our wingers aren't playing fantastic. Like, they're not, like, blowing it out. So we can bring you here, you here. Switch this. Gundelak come off for staring. Ganyu, you switch. I think that, I think, I think this is it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling better about this. You go ahead and play the box. No. Uh, switch. And you play the box to box. You play the ball winning midfielder support. Defensive midfielder, advanced playmaker, complete forward here. Yeah, I, th I think I like this. I, it's the last 18 minutes of the game. Going the 4-4-2 diamond. This is what the U.S. men's national team did to kind of break apart Panama, although Panama was playing much more aggressively. Um, we'll give it... We'll give it like eight minutes on on standard before we try going attacking. We have dominated the game. We've got 11 shots. So I'm hoping having another striker up there. He's not going to do anything, obviously. Lovely, lovely. Um, let's go attacking. Let's try it. Let's try it, lads. And we're going to look for the overlap. We're going to look for our fullbacks to get a little bit more forward. We used all our subs. That's literally all we can do. And uh, besides the pep talk, which, of course, we're going to just passionately say push forward. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to give up a goal. <laughs> it's, we're going to get relegated. We're going we're gonna to nick the ball here. And we're going to have all of these guys forward. And it's going to be amazing. Okay. We're getting back. You're good. Nice steal. Okay. Passing it back towards the middle of the pitch and your own goal. Interesting. Okay. Staring. He's get, got the help. Camera's guard. Oh. Follow the ball. Oh, he, t he almost tipped it in. Almost tipped it in. We've dominated. They are playing so defensively. I think it's worth it to try something like this. Petchy can play this. 
you can just play a lot. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. This is a bit risky, but I feel like we need the goal. I feel like we need the goal, so we're gonna go for it. Um, we've gone attacking. You can go attack as well. So all the support coming up. What is this fourth? What what is they calling this? A four three one two wing back. Okay, four, three. I guess, sure, sure. Um, this is risky. I know. There's five minutes. I'm hoping five minutes, and we'll do it with a change of the throw-in. I thought I thought we could get it in before the throw-in. Camera scores on a 6.1. That's not very good. No, is it? They've got yellows everywhere. Come on, Nick and goal, boys. Nick and goal. It's 13 shots. Oh, man. This highlight's not going to be ours. So it's, okay. Okay, staring, staring, staring. Oh, I thought it was going to deflect off of him and go in. Hoof it forward! Hoof it forward! No? You're just gonna dance? Okay, maybe Staring gets the start next game. Oh, 13 shots, 6 on target. I mean, we played well defensively. I mean, I I don't want to blow them up, because it's like, guys, you know, like... You, you had a bunch of shots, 6 on target, 70% possession, we just didn't... We didn't do our jobs. Oh, hopefully that doesn't come back to burn us. No, it doesn't. Mm, right. So we'll be right back because I'm going to go hop forward a couple days and then we'll get right to it. Great. Here we go. We need an away goal, my friends. They have only beaten us twice in 12 matches. Okay. To be fair, we've only beaten them like what? Four times? Four times. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I haven't even looked at our penalty takers. We're not going to penalties. Um, we're going to go the 4 2 one, three. I, I, I want to switch it up. The last time we played with our wingers a bit further back, I don't want to play that defensively. We are going to play on the counter rather than just straight defensive because we're not defending a 1-0 lead. We do need to get forward. We're going to leave Cameras Guard in because he is, in theory, I mean, he is playing just turret, isn't he? I don't think we can start him. <laughs> I've talked myself out of it. But I was just thinking, like, staring is not a complete forward. And, I mean, to be fair, Cameras Guard isn't either. But at least Cameras Guard has been training for it. So we'll leave Gundalak and Donyu in. Because, again, Ogood is only good for 60 minutes. At least I think that's the case. And either way, he's not match fit. And Gundalak's been playing all right. He's given us 6.8 average uh, appearances. You know, whatever. We're going to play our fullbacks on support. We're taking work the ball into the box off because we're trying to just, like, get the ball forward. We took the uh, retained possession off because we're just trying to get the ball forward. Vito apparently could play a full 90. He's up to 75%. I told you. We, we, if we can get Vito to 75, we win. It's 11 to 5 odds, but we're going to win. Um, yeah, Yule has been on an unbelievable run. Okay. So let's just say he's good. Okay, great. Um, uh, da, da. Yeah, sure, they're great. I don't want to just be like, yeah, we're just throwing him out there because we're not. We're not throwing Anderson out there. I'm not even sure if we're going to keep Anderson based on his salary demands. Okay. Team selection today says so a change of tactic might be on the cards. Uh, yeah, right. It's Of course, we're away. Yeah, it's going to be different. Um, there's not a lot to say. Would you stop asking me questions? Let's go. Let's close down their striker too. Yep. Passionate. I expect a win tonight because if we don't, we have to play two more games. <laughs> or at least one more game. I don't even know if it's if it's I, I'm guessing it's a two leg thing against the the people trying to get promoted from the first division. But let's not go there. Let's just win. Let's nick an early goal. We'll drop the wingers back. We'll play defensive. It'll be fine. Donya with a nifty spin there. George is a little knackered. I tried to rest everybody in between, you know, the three-day gap or whatever in between the game. And, it, you know, nothing's going. My goodness. We struggled to get enough shots in today. Well, I took work the ball in the box off. So, I don't know what you want from me. Hey, we got a shot. It's on target. Yeah, my friends. Yeah, they've had 5-1 on target, though, to be fair. So, it's, you know, okay, Koltoft is playing crap. So, he's... He's looking nervous, too. He's got to come out. I don't want to get nervous stuff on my back line. We can't be having that. Um, we're going to assertively say, keep going out there. You can win tonight. You aren't that bad. I believe you can improve. You aren't that bad. I believe you can improve. And you've been unlucky so far. Good effort. 
Okay, I gotta remember in like the 75th minute to look at our penalty takers. Come on, Vito. I want to see Vito score a goal. Let's get a winner. We gave you a contract. We brought you back in. Lawrenson, get it to Vito. Vito! Okay, back to Lawrenson. He's not offside. He's gonna cross it in! Oh, it falls down! They took down Stary Christian Reganisson. Maybe I should have looked at the penalty takers before now, because I have no idea. Is it George? Is it George? George has been the taker. Oh, I don't want to watch. But I'm going to watch a little bit. <laughs> Come on, game. Hurry. They're trying to psych George out. Come on, George. Yes. Drop the wingers. Drop the wingers. <laughs> um, you're going to have to play good weight forward, son. <laughs> That's what it's going to have to be. You're going to play defensive. You're going to play defensive. We're not going to go full defensive. We're going to play counter. But we're going to drop the wingers. Down into the regular pass of the midfield. Oh my goodness, my friends. If we pull this off, we will have... I believe, if I understand the rules correctly, if you guys in the comments told me correctly, we will have survived. Let's watch this. He got a hand to it, but could not get the full block off. Jensen. They're bringing on Christian Kutsk. Okay, we're changing stuff. Okay, where's Brasnik? We're, let's close down Brasnik. Thank you. Alright, they're going to be pushing now, which would leave them more open to breaks. We're going to leave the solo striker up there. Can, oh, dinks it off the... How is that guy not dead? They dinked it off the back. Oh. First off, somebody should be dead on that team. Because they did a full cross into the back of his head. What is that? What is that? They just come straight down and score. It's all gone wrong. All that momentum. Go back to playing counter. Oh. And we were closing him down and tightly marking him. How do, let, let's watch it again. How does that happen? Ball over the top. Who is that? Putro stands there. Moomin can't get to it. I mean, that's a wonder shot, right? Off the inside of the post. Uh, we have had the clear-cut chance. We just got to make another one, boys. What? You're just going to stand there? You're not even going to try? Not even going to try. We got to get Vito involved. There he is. We got to get Vito involved. Come on. Get it to Vito. Get it to Vito. He's on the new contract. He feels valued. His morale's got to be up. He's got the overlapping winger. Putros is making a run. S staring is surrounded. Vito! Vito! Deflected! It's Vito! It's Vito! Yes! <laughs> Drop the wingers! Drop the wingers! Panic! Panic! Vito! <laughs> yes! Yes! Vito! I don't care, it's an own goal. That's Vito. That's Vito all the way. Was it going in? <laughs> I guess that's what they're saying. Is it, Was it going in when they deflected it? Oh, that was way off. I don't know what he was doing there. But he... No, Vito's that good. He knew I'm going to dink it off this guy's arm and it's going to go in. It's going to look like it's not going in, but I'm going to make it go in. Okay, things have changed. We have two away goals. So I would think, based on the away goals, that... We would, if it was a draw, would we still win? <laughs> I don't even know the rules. It sounds like you guys don't even, that the Danish TV doesn't even know the rules either, so to be fair. Donio to Vito, my man, my man, 75% match fitness, that's all you need out of Vito. Gets it up to staring. Oh, okay, a little behind Gundalak, but that's okay. Oh, okay, little, little edgy here. Putros, he drops back, he's got, he's got that defensive midfielder to help him out. Gundalak. Back to, okay, he's right, pass, pass, okay, making me nervous staying on the ball so long. Vito, oh, George with the run! Oh, George, George, that's why you're a ball-winning midfielder, you're supposed to be playing in the defensive midfield, son. But, you know, fair play, good good run, I guess, ish. Okay, 75 minutes, 76 minutes, do we need to take anybody off? Not Yeah, We are going to check at the 85th minute, we're going to check the penalty takers just, just, to, just to make sure. My friends, my friends, we are six minutes away. We are six minutes away. Best penalty taker is Sasha Pecci. We got to get him on the field. George, Vito, staring. Donio Putros is all right. Um, camera's guard's not bad. I mean, just penalty. Okay, scuff guard. Um, where's he? Hebo is down here. So we're going to take Hebo off and get Pecci on. I think that's going to be the only major change we do. 
I'm sure there'd be extra time though. Um, has he, he's on a 6.9. I think, yeah, let's take him off. We'll bring in Petchy. Put him on defend. Just, and you can just do defend as well. Just everybody chill out. Can you play defensive winger? Winger. You can play defensive winger. Yeah. Yeah. All defending all the time. Does the dream in the Super League continue? Just stand on it, Yule. No. Yes! Vito. I wonder if you guys are like, I don't think he should be playing Vito. His leg is going to get ripped off. He's at lope. Yes, hopefully you had the faith. George gets the player of the match on a 7.2. Why? Because he got the goal, I guess. I can't think of anything in particular that needs addressing after that. Okay, so maybe we're misunderstanding how this works. We're in the playoff final. We have won. Okay. <laughs> Do we have more games on the schedule? We don't. You'd think you'd be celebrating, right? Wouldn't you be celebrating? Uh, view stage. Play a final. It's the final. It's over. It's done. It's let's look at the tree. It's done. It's dusted. We've survived, right? We've survived. Uh, okay. I'm going to save really quick. I'll be right back. It's true, my friends. We have survived the relegation playoff. We are going to be in the Super League next season. This will continue, I think, and I'm going to roll with BK for him. We're going to see if we can actually kind of avoid that whole fun thing at the end of the season until FM18 comes out. I want to see where this adventure takes us. Um, you guys have been great. Smash a like on that. When we come back in the next episode, I'm going to show you the player awards. Um, it may not be in two days. I'm going to do everything I can to get it done in two days because here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to do... The player player awards season da 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 review and maybe the transfer window, but I think that might be a bit much. So I'll decide. I'm thinking in two days it's gonna just gonna be the end of the season awards and you know reviewing who's good and who's not and whose contract we're letting expire, going to like um and things like that. So smash a like on that. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part about this season was since we've now survived. It's it's a little bit happier of a, of a way to ask that question because otherwise it's going to be like, what was your favorite memory of being in the Super League? And now it's more like, what do you? what's your favorite memory of the Super League? Because we're coming back. All right, we'll see you in the next episode. Smash a like for Vito. Arr!